Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Great Day Live on a Wednesday morning. Happy Hump Day. I'm Java Ingram. <laughs> and I'm Janelle Martinez. Thank you so much for joining us today. Italians immigrated to Tampa more than 100 years ago, and the traditions are still celebrated today. Most of these immigrants came from one province in Sicily, Agrigento. Tampa has been a sister city to Agrigento for more than 30 years. And to celebrate this anniversary, there's going to be an expo of all things Italiano. Chef Salvatore Argento and Giuliano Hassan are here to tell us all about it. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, so Giuliano, we're going to start with you. Tell us what we can expect at this expo that's happening this weekend in Tampa. It's going to be three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There will be uh, tastings, there will be cooking demonstrations by Chef uh, Salvatore uh, with wine and food uh, and all kinds of foods that uh, people may not be familiar with because uh, they came straight from Sicily. Right, and speaking of coming straight from Sicily, Chef came straight from Sicily as well. The expo team brought him over. Appena arrivato dalla Sicilia. Yeah, so I want to I want to know, Chef, what makes authentic Italian food? What's the secret? Qual è il segreto della cucina autentica italiana? Eh beh, la, la roba genuina, i prodotti, eh, quelli buoni, quelli della terra, eh, quelli stagionali, tutti. Genuine ingredients uh, from the land, uh, made with care and love. Great, and I know you have some of the food here, you said came straight from Sicily. Yes, everything yes. on this table, pretty much. Yeah. Now, are we able to get it here, or is that what the expo not is trying yet, to do? Not, not yet, not yet. Yes, okay, and I know at the expo, there's also going to be fashion and wine and design, so not just food, correct? Yes, there's going to be some pretty fancy cars, too. Oh, right, so everything Italian, what it's yes. known for, like I said, the fashion and the cars. All right, now, I know, Chef, you're going to be doing some demonstrations out there. Do you want to, do you want to show us what you're going to be doing? or give us a little example? Uh, vuoi dare un esempio delle dimostrazioni che okay. farai? Okay. <laughs> Partiamo con un, un primo piatto che è a base di maccheroncini, pesto di pistacchio, olio e cacio cavallo. So the, okay. the first dish she's going to show you is going to be some uh, maccheroncini. These are these small tubular shaped okay. pastas yes. with a uh, pistachio pesto made with pistachios and almonds oh, that and nice. olive oil and finished with some grated cacio cavallo cheese. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you want to get started? Allora incominciamo. Sì. Okay. Mettiamo la pasta che ci vuole un po' di tempo. Okay. Da this pasta this is not what you should be doing at home. Okay. This is pre-cooked. He's just going to be heating it up now. But of course, when you're doing it at home, you'll cook it to right when you're ready. Okay. And I assume that like, something that makes Italian food genuine is the pasta or authentic? Is the, is the pasta? How important You know, important everything's is important, even right. the ingredients. This okay. is a pasta from Sicily that's made with an heirloom wheat called the uh, Senatore Capelli. Okay. That's, that's great. And so tell me where the expo is. I know it's in Tampa, right? Do you know? Sons of Italy Lodge. That's it's, right. It's in, it's in West Tampa, and that's going to be yeah. happening this weekend. Yes. And people can go, and they can explore everything Italiano, and they can taste the food, right? Yes, absolutely. That's the whole idea. And there's also <laughs> going to be a contest. I know you're one of the judges. Tell me a little yes. bit about yourself. You write cookbooks. You have a culinary school, and you're going to be judging some of the contests out there, right? Yes, I've written uh, five cookbooks. This is one That's of them. That's one right there. And I have a cooking school in Italy, and I also do cooking classes uh, in Sarasota, which is where I live. Okay, and so you're going to be out there this weekend also. And I will going be, to be there, yes. Judging not just food, but also some olive oil, right? Yes. Yes, okay, because olive oil is really important to Tampa. Very. <laughs> I mean, important to Italy. Talk about um, the immigrants that came to Tampa, the Italians, and why they settled in Tampa. I know that a lot of them are from Argento, right? Yes, apparently uh, uh, many people from Sicily came and uh, settled in Tampa. Chi de, de, de la gente che è immigrata dalla Sicilia che è andata a Tampa? Sì, tantissimo. Sai, sai sì. qualcosa, la storia? Sì. O so, che, so che qua sono arrivati tantissimi emigrati della, della Sicilia, specialmente della provincia di Agrigento, c'è Santo Stefano, Cianciana, e venivano qua a lavorare tutti nella, 
con le fabbriche dei sigari penso so many, eh? many, la maggior uh, parte immigrants from Sicily particularly the province of Agrigento right. came here to work in the cigar factories okay. and in fact uh, we're also celebrating the 30th of fame eh? okay. she's hungry she I'm says. very anxious because it smells delicious and I haven't had breakfast <laughs> uh, they're also celebrating the 30th anniversary of uh, the sister city that's right yes. uh, between Agrigento and Tampa that's right that's right and so, Yes, I am going to take a bite. This is this looks fantastic. It looks so yummy. So this is going like to happen. And just so you know, this is happening this weekend. I want to give everyone the, the website. And it is piazzaitalia.com. We're going to put that up in just a minute as well. But you're going to want to find out everything you need to know about this expo by going to their website. In the meantime, I am going to try some of this delicious pasta. And tell me what it's called again. Macaroncini. Pesto di pistacchio. Pesto di pistacchio e cacio cavallo. Oh, it's made with pistachios. Yeah, that's the fantastic. Okay. Dishes tend to be just what they are. Yeah. We don't, not really into proper names all that much. Oh, I love it. I love it. Then I don't have to pronounce it, so that's even better. Okay, I'm going to take a bite here. All right. Tell me more about how people can find you in your cookbook while I'm taking a bite. I have a website. It's giulianohazan.com. G-I-U-L-I-A-N-O-H-A-Z-A-N.com. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have a name that's hard to spell. <laughs> this is amazing. Just go so you can taste some I of that delicious food. I can smell it. It's food. wonderful. I know. It is amazing. All right. We're going to give that website one more time so you can find it. PiazzaItalia.com. The expo takes place February 4th through the 6th. That's this weekend. Hope to see you guys there.